Yo, what's going on guys? Right, I'm just going to show you three ways to use RCR T-Tool from Bluetooth.com. Um, three separate different ways, one using text, one using uh, overlays and footage together, and then one using a logo and using the composite or blending modes that you can find here on the right side of the video tab. So if we jump straight in, we're just going to drag a text plus, um, and let's just use the title CRT Machine. Come down to the font I like, the Euro style extended. I'm just going to get this to our liking. Bring these a little bit closer. Line spacing, maybe change it to a red so it complements the blue. Um, like this. You've got this. So now you're going to compound these clips together. Then we're just going to add a CRT machine on and instantly we've got quite a cool effect so what I suggest when you purchase this um, or if you already have it is use these on the side um, you get a more finer adjustment um, instead of using this which sort of springs up quite quickly you can sort of go down individually um, number by number um, so I'll just bring that back to zero I'm just going to change the um, distortion to zero as well I'm then going to bring the image size back. Then I'm just going to play around with the pixel size. So like I said, using this, you just click on here. And as you can see, it goes down uh, very finely. Just going to bring this closer. Still want to be able to see the reds and the, sort of the aberration on the side. So maybe just bring it up a little bit more. Something like that. Now we can mess around with the colors. I'm going to make it more blue. Um, use this to up the saturation. I'm just going to up the contrast a little bit as well. Let's see how that looks. That looks really cool. There's obviously lots of other stuff you can adjust and tweak to get this to your liking. Um, the game, for instance, bring that down. You can get a more, um, you know, be more visible. Sort of the lines and the pixels. If you bring that back up. start to blend both together there's also the frame repeat so it's sort of echoing the frame if you don't want that you sort of bring that um, well that's um, that default at the moment but bring the motion trails down you can also adjust the pixel aspect so as you can see we can really sort of manipulate the pixels and how they appear and even the pixel angle so you can get some really cool effects um, and really cool looks. Um, if I bring these back down, even the pixel angle. So you can see how there's various different ways in using this. If you want to reset, you just double click on the little dot. Now let's jump on to this. Now blending things together um, really brings the CRT effect to life. So this is from one of our CRT overlay packs and you just come down to the composite um, and you can do various different things but what I like to do is screen the standard one and this is what we look. You know and you can add text in and then once you've done all that group it together again and you do exactly the same thing and as you can see we just bring the motion trails because that works quite hard in the CPU. You start to get this really cool CRT effect. Now coming on to the logo, we want to get the logo to our size, compound it, and add CRT machine on top. And as you can see, you get the nice CRT effect. I'm just going to adjust the pixel size ever so slightly, something like that. And then you can come to your composite mode in the video tab and come down to screen. I suggest play around as well with these. I think a lot of you will know what the composite modes do. Um, and you can just achieve cool different effects. Remember, edit slow to edit fast. So when cutting sort of quick and pacey clips, it's good to combine lots of small little details that really bring things to life. And that way you get a better overall video when it's all sort of combined to the um, at the end. You know, and then once you've done that, you can go and add adjustment layers. 
maybe you want to add a glow so just come to your open fx and just add the resolve glow and it will glow it even more i mean there is an inbuilt glow but once i uh, like i said combining lots of different effects really brings things to life um, and i mean there's lots of different use cases and lots of different ways to implement this but really experiment with sort of combining things um, Yeah, um, and that's about it for today, guys. Um, if you want to purchase this, head over to Bluetooth.com. It's part of our master bundle, part of our full collection, or you can buy it standalone. Um, and thank you. I will see you in the next one. We'll be showcasing um, lots more uh, different versions of our effects. Um, so take it easy. Peace.